What's up, guys? It's Zed, and I'm finally back, sort of. There's been a lot of shit going down that I wasn't able to continue this series. But I'm back now, and let's just hope that nothing else comes up that's going to hinder me from uploading this particular video because I really, really enjoy it and stuff. But I was able to still try and post smaller videos on my channel just so that I can keep up appearances and stuff like that. But I'm back with the Karamood stuff, and um, I actually do video editing as a job right now and mixing with that and my youtube editing is so fucking hard and so hectic and you know i just needed a break among other things and um yeah i'm changing the way i edit videos i'm going to, i want to do live videos now but i really can't do live videos because i don't have the equipment to do live videos and stuff yet so i'm going to be doing the premieres on youtube for now and i'm going to be doing very very minimal editing because i'm not exactly confident with the way i talk because i stammer and uh when I actually go live, I'm, I'm eventually going to have to deal with that. But for now, let's go straight into the camera mode. I'm not going to, like I said before, I'm going to be doing very minimal editing, which means that I mean the videos are going to be longer and I'm going to be doing like a half season per episode. And obviously I'm going to play all of the matches so that I can actually do it in less than two hours and stuff. So the videos are going to be somewhat um, one hour, 30 minutes longer and stuff like that. But uh, we're starting with the and let's go my good match this time around. I have no idea why the hell I just sent through that that um was as that match because I have I really can't remember what we did last episode. But our manager rating is low and let's see what we have in the inbox. Nothing really important. The transfer of a Rise for MSRE, I'm not going to accept that because I mean it's it's I'm just not. Orise is already on 95. I mean he probably was in last episode, but I really can't remember. Let's actually take a look at the team this time around. Okay, so German Fonteca are on 87, Helvig is on 87 as well. We say 85, Kallenberg 85, um, Calvin James 85, Locatelli 86, Saracho 85, Donovan 84, um, Stewart 86, and then Van Dries 86. I think I'm actually start bringing in uh, better players. Um, I mean, our team is really good right now, but next season I might start bringing in big guns in order for us to contest for the La Liga type. So I'm only making changes to this lineup. But let's see what the league table looks like. Where is that at? Okay, we are fourth and we are a ways away from Sevilla. That's um, eight points, eight points away from Sevilla and we are five points behind Real Madrid. So I think we're pretty much good with fourth position. We are pretty much clearing into Champions League football for next season. Are we still in any? Okay, we're not in any cup matches at all, but next up we're going to be going up against Atletico Madrid I and mean, we have beaten them before I think we've beaten them most times that they have beaten us and well the team looks pretty good I'm not going to make any changes I forgot I had ZF in this team I need a a better striker that I can that will come on and sub for Fonseca in case of him being tired and stuff like that and for the second team as well because Cabrera to be honest is just not good enough all right, the match has started. I forgot to um, reduce the volume of the commentator. So let me just do that real quick. Where is that? I can't find it. Okay, there you go. Just put it on two, just so I can at least hear them a little bit. All right, so we are against um, Atletico Madrid. I really wish that we were able to um, use money to upgrade our stadiums because I mean I can literally just upgrade it any single time, any anytime I want really. And uh, well, it's a pretty small stadium, but it gradually get bigger. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and make upgrading it as realistic as possible. Definitely not next season though, because I doubt we have enough money to do that. Looking at the players right now, unless they have grown exponentially. I feel like my team is actually quite on par with them on paper because I mean I don't think Atletico Madrid has any 90 rated players as as, as as much as I've seen. I mean only All Black will be over 90, and this is the second season, the end of the second season, and it might already be the um, dropping rating. So I mean we are we should be the better team in this match on paper. But let's just hope that FIFA doesn't freaking annoy my life with uh, their bullshit. Okay, what I like to do is possession, but I never, I, I, I'm never able to hold possession. To be honest, every single time I say I want to hold possession, I always end up giving possession away. But yeah, I mean, I wasn't even done talking, but we do get it back, and 
Okay, that was... What? How the hell do you even stop that? That would have been a really good, really good chance. Alright, so just need to give us a good, good stop from Van <sighs> I mean, This This match might actually be a lot tougher than I... I want it to be. Okay, they go short. I, I had a problem with the switching, to be honest. I have, I find it really hard to switch, and that was a really poor clearance. But we have, we have a, a good chance. Have no idea why the hell these guys are doing like this. But come on, German, come on, help me out here. You don't, and that's the end of that counter attack. He's not sprinting. I don't know why he's not sprinting. Okay, that was that was good, but actually, I actually aimed it at Rise. I have no idea why. Uh, it went to for German, but okay, we're actually we're actually making progress in front, I guess. I mean, we haven't reached their keeper yet, but I mean, eventually we will if we actually keep on playing like this, which I I hope we do. Okay, that that would have been so good, but I took too much time with that. Final pass. That was that was actually a mistake, but we actually still do get the ball. We actually still get the ball, and I just fucking wasted there. I mean, I go, I got so confused in which direction I should go, and they they caught me off guard. But I mean, we could still we could still get the ball here. That was really good press, but it just went out for a throw. I would say that we are actually the better of the two teams here and that's a really good chance and oh my god he actually fucking scored it he actually fucking scored it that is a magnificent goal from we say wow wow that was like on a whim i was like okay, let me just try this and look at that man actually scored Left foot at that. I mean, once you're left foot, you're just bound to be a genius in football. And uh, okay, that's one nil. I mean, now that we scored, I'm, I'm really pretty confident in us winning this match. And I think I think um, Barcelona is first. I mean, I can't remember. I didn't really look at who was first. I just looked at Real Madrid and how how far we were away from them. So I mean, it's either Atletico Madrid or or um, Barcelona that is first position. And I mean, I'm actually doing pretty well with the, with the possession right now. I should think. Okay, so I, I think I'm just going to stop talking about possession to you <laughs> because every single time I talk about it, there's a threat of me losing losing it. I mean, look at it there. But we still have another chance. And yeah, that was that was straight at the defender. That was actually really good, and that's a really good goal. Really good goal, really good at one touch passing from the team, and we we're able to get our second goal. German on that, and I mean, it's really for Tega to score in the front three. And I think that in this match, with the way this match is going, he's most likely going to score because um, we haven't had a shot on target if I'm, if, if, I'm, if I'm not wrong. They haven't, and we are actually dominating them in this match. On ultimate at that. So it turns out I was right. Uh, our team is actually way better. On paper, or rather, actually the same on paper, but way better on uh, like when we're playing. Because I mean, this these guys have nothing on me to be honest. Either that, or they are just not having a really good day. Because normally they always usually fuck us up, but our team is way better this time around. And uh, well, it's really good that we're winning. I have no complaints. I have no complaints in the defense, in the attack, in the midfield. We've done really well. What's the position like? 54 46 we had oh they had one shot i don't remember when they made that but whatever all right so the second half has started and let's just try and do exactly what we did in the first half let's hope that we do not slack um i'm usually known to slack usually but let's just hope that we do not this time around what that was a magnificent that scene was bad that save was fucking sick, but I, I mean the, the threat isn't gone, and what can we do here? Let's bring our Kallenberg here, just just in case, and he doesn't even get to him. All 
why that was a good block to stop the cross. And I think I'm going to bring in Lozano in for what's his face for Stewart because he's quite tired. I mean, he's, he's, he's actually a really good left back, really good in attack, really good in defense. And let's just try and do this again. Okay, so it does get to Kallenberg, but that is that is beautiful. Fonseca, come on and not get, don't end up with the ball. That's from the is injured. I think Batch might come on this time. What the fuck guys do there? All right, I'm bringing Batch in because for the is injured. I don't want to um make any uh. I don't want to regret not taking it off later. I'm going to bring in Kudus as well. Or oh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to bring in Rise. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to put Rise out there and, and put Smarty K on the right. Okay, so there is a chance for Fonteca here. And this might actually be a good chance. And thank you. Thank you. Really good goal. I mean, the power shot from that from there never actually misses. And that is... I don't, even what, I don't even know what to say. I mean, he finally got in the goal I was looking for, and it was it was, it was a really good goal. 122 short, short, short speed. That's that's pretty good. I think he could have done faster than that, but not wrong. But now we're 3 0 up against Atletico Madrid now at home on Ultimate. Let's not forget that we are actually playing on Ultimate. And well, we have the ball back again, and this might be really good thank you 4-0 four, four fucking goals to boss so to and let's go Madrid on ultimate I mean I, I really can't stop stressing the fact that I'm playing on ultimate right now and I'm dishing these guys I mean their team was probably like downgraded or something from the last time I played them because to be honest this is not the Atletico Madrid that I I played in the last episode and stuff like that but I mean I, I really can't complain I really can't complain at all because this is a really good win for us and it's just showing that next se next season, I don't want to say semester, <laughs> next season we have a really good chance of winning the of winning the title, and then we'll be able to get um, better players who actually um, want to invest their talent and stuff in in playing for our team. Please defend it, thank you, Vandre. I mean, the defenders didn't really do well there, but Vandre was able to make up for that. Who's who's making the run? He does get there. He does get there. Okay. And okay, that was actually I was going for Fonseca there, but the course was too was too wild and come on, get the ball. What the hell is happening? Okay. We're good is it throwing for us. I mean I probably don't need to make any changes. Make the run. And Fonseca. Well, that didn't work out. All right, so we have an opportunity. Oh shit, that's outside. That was outside, right? It was not. It's not actually. Let's try to chip again. And oh my god, it's like it's like I'm freaking playing. It's like I'm playing. It's like I'm playing world class or something, or I'm playing professional. Cause <laughs> five nil, five nil, two goals for reset, two goals for for take out, one goal for for German. I think that's pretty much. All of the goals that we're going to be scoring this time around that is that was really great it's a really good match to be honest and i'm actually really happy that we're able to do this well because it just shows that we have a lot in store for us in the future of this series and i mean it's a lot of winning that we get to come obviously we're going to lose a couple matches too because i mean this is not the pinnacle of football on ultimate difficulty but i don't even know what i'm saying to be honest but i mean i'm really i'm really Happy that we're able to win this match, and that's really good defending. To be honest, I feel like my defending has improved. I think maybe because I've been playing that World Cup mode and, and I'm using all the teams, so I'm actually uh, working on my defense with the smaller teams I'm using and stuff. So that's actually helping me out and actually come to a team that is really good. But it has been a really good match, really good, good goals from Fonteca. To be honest, I mean, two really good goals at all, and that the power shot and a chip. So good match. What's next? We have a match against Cadiz next. I'm going to be simulating this and then I'm going to do the playable highlights for for that last match against Celta Vigo. I think I think that was Celta Vigo I saw. But I'm not going to make any changes. I'm just, I'm just going to sim it straight up with the first team. We shouldn't really lose the match. Okay, that's good. Look, I tell you with a brace, that's that's quite odd. But I mean I'm I'm, I'm going to take that either ways. 
let's look at the standings we are on fourth position that is really good and we are one point away from real madrid we finished second last season so this is actually um two two positions worse than last season and um i mean i'm still really good with the fact that we are in the top four and we're going to be playing in champions league football next season as well then real madrid is just one point ahead of us so i mean they are facing who I mean, I can't find it. I don't care. Okay, they're facing Alaves. I mean, they're most likely not going to lose that much. And so, I mean, let's just settle for our fourth position. Um, Sevilla can't catch us. We are over 10 points, 12 points away from them. And well, this is the last match of the episode, last match of the season. And I'm going to be playing the. I'm not going to do attack only because that thing really annoys me how a small team like this team might just end up getting three goals right off the bat. And then, and I won't even know how the fuck that happened. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm pretty um, comfortable with um, having control over my defense. I also just forgot to rotate my squad. <laughs> it's time. But I mean, eventually I will stop forgetting shit so much and actually act like yeah, an actual real manager who actually fucking cares about his fucking team. But right now, we're just, let's just jump straight into the match. What do we have first? I mean, we should have the more. We should have more attacking options. And I hate this thing so much because they always just run run across immediately I don't, I don't know why but we still have a chance here and that was a really good save from their keeper we have a free kick and i think I, i'll actually be doing pretty well in this type in this type of free kick right now i mean my if i were to rate myself on how well i've been doing in these free kicks i would rate it at a <laughs> i mean that was sad but it's a it's a solo run for 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 the taker I was saying I will rate it at a forty something percent on on my success on scoring goals like that. I see Restay there. I mean, you shouldn't really flunk this, and that's a really good goal, really good start to the match. In the thirty nine minutes, fortieth minute, by that, we are scoring our first goal with Restay. And what do we have next? We have yet another opportunity for ourselves. Okay, no one, no one is there really. That's that's sad, but. Okay, we actually do get the ball and I mean I could have gone I, I could have gone further a little bit. We have a really good chance for for a for a goal here. Wonder why the fuck they are all so far away, but uh I see I see Ponteca, I see James. Let's try and go for James. Hopefully it reaches him, it does, and we don't end up whoops. Whoops, that was that, that was my bad. I could have done way better than that. But they have a counter attack, so I mean, it's just one goal, so I mean, I mean, we have to focus all of our energy and... Oh, okay, that was easy. Oh my god, we just gifted them back the ball, what the fuck? Come on, get the ball back. I mean, this team, I mean, I may have beaten... Okay, that's good. And, okay, we have, we have a really good chance here, we have a really fucking good chance here. So please don't fuck this up, ZH. What? How how the fuck do you even fuck that up? Come on, <laughs> come on! How the hell do you fuck that up? I, I actually I actually really fucking hate this game sometimes because there's a lot of shit that really shouldn't be happening. I mean, I passed and I have no idea what the fuck the guy did. He completely just fucked up. Fucked up our second goal there. I mean, that was a really fucking clear second goal. But I mean, we still do end up winning the match. Really good goal from VC and. Well, it's, that's really really good match. Alright, we have reached the end of the season. We ended with five points away from first position, which is Barcelona, two points away from Atletico Madrid in second, and one point away from Real Madrid. It was a really close, close battle in the top four. And I'm really happy that we are in the top four of the La Liga right now. The third season we are supposed to be challenging for the title. Let's hope that we can make it there. Hopefully, I mean Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid and Barcelona are still going to be the toughest rivals for this entire series. And um, I mean, it's going to be a really tough battle winning all the matches and sorry, winning all the all the seasons from now on. But I mean, it, it will be it will be fun if we're able to do that. So as you can see here, Fonseca gets the golden boot for the La Liga with twenty seven goals in thirty five matches. I think the, I think competition record should be fifty, which is Messi or Ronaldo. I'm not, I'm not really sure who has that record, but it's a, it's. It's been a really, really good season for him because he started the season really, really well, if you guys can't remember. And uh, I, 
<laughs> sorry about that. He he actually he actually uh, did really well after that. Let's look at the news to see what. Yeah, Golden Book winner is definitely going to be him. And then we have the goal of the tournament, which is us. I mean, he had way more clean sheets than any other keeper in this entire series. And then team of the season, we have um, just our three defenders, just three defenders from our team make it to the list. That's Stuart, Helvig, and Donovan. Now that we're done with all of that, let's just look at the stats for the team. Let's look at who has the highest amount of goals, the highest amount of assists, and stuff like that. And obviously, we have Fonteca with 34 goals. And 13 assists in 46 matches. So, I mean, definitely once again, he's going to be the player of the season. I really can't remember if he was the player of the season last season, but it's, it's most likely supposed to be him. I mean, it's most, most, definitely, most definitely him. And then we have German coming up with 19 goals and 7 assists. That's better, better, better than what he did last season. And then Rissi, 8 goals, eight goals, 6 assists. I think he was injured. I, I think it was this season he was injured. No, it wasn't. It was last season, but... I don't know why he didn't get as many goals as I wanted him to in this season. But, I mean, still, still the majority of the goals were shared between Fonseca and German, and I have no problem with that at all. And then Calvin James, the captain, got the fourth highest amount of goals. No assists, that's quite weird for him. I mean, he's a DM, and he should get plenty of assists. But, I mean, Fonseca got more assists than Calvin Berg. That is something that is... <laughs> quite odd because I mean he should specialize more in assists than in goals but I mean he didn't really do really well this season in terms of goal contributions but uh, I mean it was a really good it was a really good season all in all so this is the end of the episode if you guys have enjoyed it make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video peace oh let me know what you think about about this new um, style of video where I'm going to be doing premieres and stuff. It's supposed to be like a live video, but I really can't do live videos right now, like I said at the beginning of this episode. But I really want to start doing like doing videos like this now because uh, it's better for me and it's easier for me to actually put out videos daily like this. And um, well, hopefully you guys like it. And if you do, hit the like button once again. I'm saying the end. I'll also subscribe to the channel as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.